good afternoon everyone i welcome you all on to today's session that is work life balance okay i hope all of you can see my screen so today we will discuss about work life balance that how we can balance our life you know as well as uh, you know work while we are working in any organization any company or if we are doing our own work or business we can say okay so these days work life balance seems like an impossible feat what does it seems it does seems like a impossible feat but technology makes workers accessible around the clock what was happening guys uh, before this you know pandemic everyone was having a time slot ki you need to work from 9 to 5 but during this pandemic now people are working for you know uh, 24 hours we can say like that 24 hours they are available to work they are you know they they may get you know email notification they may get whatsapp notification they may get some you know uh, sms notification on their devices be it laptop be it some you know phone or some other device they are using in because their their boss would you know assign any task at any time they have to do that at any time and apart from this you know when this pandemic was not there then also this technology has enabled people to be accessed you know 24 hours and the fear of job loss incentivizes incentivizes longer hours what happens many people do fear that they would lost their job that's why they work for more time then they should really work it okay fear of job loss incentivizes longer hours in fact hoping 94% of working professionals reported working more than 50 hours per week okay and nearly half said that they work more than 65 hours per week in a hard work business school survey so this is this is very bad you know generally it happens if we are working for 5 days in a week and uh, we are having a you know shift of 8 hours per day means generally it used to be 9 to 5 9 to 5 means 9 hours okay in 9 hours we used to have 1 hour of lunch so generally it is called as 8 hours a day so if you are working 8 hours a day and 5 days in a week they, that means 40 hours of work in a week but what people are doing generally people are doing work for 50 hours and even some people are working for 65 hours per week also that is not good so expert agree the compounding in stress the compounding stress from never ending work day is damaging what is happening the compounding stress from the never ending work day is damaging people it can hurt relationships health and overall happiness what that is it can it can you know hurt your relationships it can hurt your or it can you know uh, Uh, lose your health or it can affect your health or overall happiness of a person so work life balance means something different to every individual what does it mean work life balance means something different to every individual but here health and career experts share tips to find you or to help you to find the balance that's right for you because for someone it is good to work for 65 hours also for someone it is you know not good to work for 8 hours you know uh, 30 hour also or 40 hour also so that depends upon person to person that how many hours he should work so let go of perfectionism what we should do we should always have perfectionism in our work we should not take care, you know take the things you know for granted we should always try to be perfect whatever we do in so lot of overachievers develop perfectionist what do many of our overachievers do they do achieve perfectionist tend- tendency at a young age when demand their time when demands on their time are limited to schools hobbies and maybe an after school job what is when their you know demands on their time are limited 
say for example to a school to their hobbies or maybe after a school job so it is easier to maintain that perfectionism so it is very easier to maintain that perfection habits at a kid but as you grow up as soon as you grow up life gets more complicated what happens your life becomes more complicated because it becomes complicated because you do have so many responsibilities you have to take care of your kids you have to take care of your parents some like somewhere you have to take care of your you know uh, higher education also you have to take care of your daily routine work also so it it you, it makes your whole day a lot of packed up okay maybe there is some problem to your father to your mother to your kid or to your spouse in that case it it makes your you know day quite hectic in that hectic way when you are at job you would be thinking about your you know uh, family that what would be happening there at the time you are at your home you would think about your job or you would you would have something in your mind about your job that i'm not able to you know do that i could not do that my this work is going pending my boss said this to me so these all things should not be there so as you climb the ladder at work and your family grows your responsibilities mushroom what happens your responsibilities gets mushroom okay so perfectionism become out of reach what happens when your responsibilities mushroom or your responsibilities increases your perfection perfectionism becomes out of reach and if that habit is left unchecked it can become destructive if you say ki yeah, let let the things keep on going like this if you are not able to do your best and that is it it would be you know destructive it would be very badly destructive that that would cause you a lot unplug unplug what you can do from telecommunicating from telecommuting to program that makes work easier technology helps help our lives in many ways what did, what technology did technology helped us in many ways but it has also created expectation of constant accessibility so what you should do what you should do you should unplug yourself say for example you are at your home you are with your family at that time you should try to make your phone switch off you should try to you know turn off your email notifications if you are somewhere out on the outing you should try to you know disconnect through uh, disconnect from all the technological you know connectivities so that you can really enjoy the time with your family or time for yourself say for example you are in a gym okay and at the same time you are carrying your phone with you at the same time it pop up a message of your boss or of your colleague that we need to do that or we need to do this okay that that makes you you know disturbed or that that's make your you know uh, that interrupts you in mid of your things so try not to let such things happen so unplug yourself from family community to programming programs that make work easier technology has helped our lives in many ways but it has also created expectations of constant accessibility what it has done it has done expectations of constant accessibility the work day never seems to be end because generally earlier you used to be your you work for in a company from 9 to 5 or 9 to 6 and that's it but now what is happening your work never ends you would be you know working in night also or day also at any time so there are times when you should just shut your phone off and enjoy the moments as per the robert brooks a professor of psychology at harvard medical school and co-author of this book okay the brooks says brooks says that phone notification interrupt your off time what does it the notification interrupt your off time and inject and undercurrent of stress in your system and their system is in your mind so do not text at your kids saucer game and don't send work emails while you are hanging out with the family what you should do you should not send work emails while you are hanging with your family because if you will send work emails at the time you are hanging with your family or you are you know on outing or you are when you are enjoying with your family then you know probability is there that you will also get some mails back and getting that mails back will you know hit back or will again disturb you so try to be free or try to plug from unplug from the technological things exercise and meditate this is one of the best way how you can manage your work and life and you can become a stress free because when we are busy we make time for critical things in life 
what happens when we are busy we make time for crucial things in life we eat we go to the bathroom we sleep and yet one of our more crucial need exercise is often the first thing to go when our calendar fill up okay what we should do we should do exercise also these are some of the basic th basic needs either we are busy or not we will have to do it like we have to eat it we have to go for walk was or uh, we have to go for to the bathroom we have to you know bath we have to sleep generally people do avoid sleeping also in a spite of sleeping for 8 to 9 hours a day generally people do sleep for 5 hours 6 hours 4 hours okay what is increasing obesity and weight also so uh, with this there is one more uh, crucial need that is exercise okay so when our calendar fill up exercise is an effective stress reducer what exercise is exercise is an effective it's stress reducer it pumps feel good endorphins through your body it helps to lift your mood and can even serve a one two punch by also putting you in a meditative state what you can do it can put you into meditative state and while do your med you know meditate it helps you a lot to control your thought process to control your body to control or most of your things okay it can help you to reduce loss of lots of stress it can make you free or make, can make your mind feel free from work so when i talk about balance not everything has to be the competition com completion and the achievement of a task it also include self care what it includes it includes self care so that your body mind and soul are being refreshed what should we do when we talk about balance so it is not about competition and achievement of a task that you 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 know you know you complete this task you complete that task no it is about taking self care also so that your body and mind do get refreshed because it is mandatory if you will not refresh your body if you will not refresh your mind as well your internal soul or we can say your heart you 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 know you will not feel good in that case for long time you cannot achieve your task because without you know maintaining or taking care of yourself so these exercise require minor effort but offer major tip payoffs and when we do exercise or meditate it takes you know very minor efforts if we spare half an hour a day then it it gives lots of benefits to us okay so psychothero psychotherapist bian robinson says who is a professor also a professor emeritus at the university of north carolina at cartorte and author of the book chained to the desk explains that our automatic nervous system includes two branches what what is there there are two branches in our automatic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system or our body's stress response what is that that is sympathetic nervous system or our body's stress response that how our body do response to the stress and parasympathetic nervous system our body's rest and digest response what is this this is about you know uh, one is about the stress response and second is about body's rest and digest response so the key is to find something that you can build into your life what is what is the requirement or key is to that you can build into your life that will activate your psycho parasympathetic nervous system there is what is the requirement that is there is a requirement that can activate your parasympathetic nervous system says robinson so short meditative exercise like deep breathing or grounding your senses what doing grounding your senses and your present surroundings are great place to start the more you do these what you can do if you will you know uh, say for example you are going for an interview and you are feeling quite you know nervous Uh, or you are feeling something some kind of you know pressure on your uh, mind in that case what you can do before entering the you know uh, interview room you, you can deep breathe you can do deep breathing that will help you a lot it is on the work work you know workplace also when you go to your boss cabin maybe he would have called you for some important work or some general work also you if you take some you know deep breaths it helps you a lot to get out of you know uh, the stress and it helps a lot to your nervous system also it gives a kind of you know a special kind of uh, relief to your mind and it it gives you a you know refreshment so the more you do this the more you activate your parasympathetic 
sympathetic nervous system which calms everything down and not just in the moment over the time you start to notice that in your life your parasympathetic nervous system will start to trump your sympathetic nervous system what will it do your parasympathetic nervous system will start to trump your sympathetic nervous system so you should try to do it next is limit time asking activities in people what you should do say for example you keep on surfing on facebook for long time either there is something or not but you just keep on you know surfing facebook you keep keep on surfing linkedin either that is going to be beneficial for you or not you just keep on you know scrolling above or down scrolling above or down that wastes your lots of time you are watching any you know useless kind of uh, serial useless you know nowadays so many you know uh, uh, stories are coming so many books are there that that you know that i'm talking about the bad books i'm talking about the general books that are of no use definitely reading is a good habit that that gives you a feel of or that gives that makes your mind you know uh, in its direction or that makes your mind in a straight direction okay so try to read good books try to hang up with the good people and stop to hang up with the you know time wasting people the people who do just uh, are there to enjoy the things or are there to make fun of you or the some people are there who do you know uh, like to talk behind the people so you should you should try to ignore such people who are talking behind others so because that kind of people are not good for you also that if you if, if someone is there who's talking behind who is talking about someone else with you behind him then maybe he will talk about you also to someone else so try to avoid such people no you should you should you should take it some dip- diplomatic way it is not like you disturb your relation or you you know uh you break your relationship with them or you spoil your relationship with them no you should you should take some you know uh, good decision the good good steps that you can make yourself away from those okay so first identify what's most important in your life what you should do you should you should focus upon that first this list will differ for everyone okay everyone do have the different different you know uh, priorities so what is your priority what is other priority say for example there is a person who want to become an ias or any you know uh, ips what he can do his activity should be to you know watch news more and more to know about the people more and more at the same time if there is a person who is interested or who want to go for coding coding job what he should do he should do more and more codings okay so this list will differ for everyone so make sure it's truly reflects your priorities not someone else's so next draw firm boundaries so you can devote quality time to these high priority people and activities from there it will easier to determine what need to be trimmed from the schedule so what is what is it will it, it, it when when you will you know decide your important things in your life when you will decide important things to be done in your life that will automatically you know uh, let you know or let you dis- determine that what should be trimmed off from your schedule if email or internet something sends you into you know time wasting spirals establish rule to keep you on task what you should do you should establish some rules to keep you on task sometimes so for example we are searching internet for some good things but at the same time we get some other things also over there in what we can spend our time but that that would not be useful for us so we should limit ourselves from such activities okay that may mean turning off email notifications and replying in batches during our limited time each day what you should do we should turn off email notifications and we should reply all the mails in a batch at a you know at a at a small time or in a you know uh, scheduled time we should not be we should not hang ourselves whole the day to replying the emails and waiting for the mails and if you are mindlessly surfing facebook or cat blogs when you should be getting work done try to you know stop it do not surf for facebook or do not go through the blogs what are of none use for you so try using prote- productivity software like freedom leech blog or rescue time okay and if you find your time being dropped up by less constructive people find a way to diplomatically limit these interactions what you should do you should find any way so that you can limit these interactions and cornered everyone morning uh, by the office chatterbox politely excuse yourself 
drinks with the working gang in the night before a busy or important day if you for example there is an important day tomorrow and you hang up today night with your friends it's not good but what is good you should you know take good sleep to going for a important day because if you will have a good sleep then definitely your mental state will be different and you will be able to do more better in your upcoming day okay so uh, go out and get a good night sleep and focus on the people and activities that reward you most next comes change your structure of your lifestyle what you should do sometimes we fail into uh, or we fall into a rut and assume our habits are set in stone what we sometimes what we think keep these are our habits and we cannot cut it off or we cannot stop these habits but generally we can do it okay so take a bird's eye view of your life what you should do you should take a bird's eye on your daily routine and you should ask yourself what changes could you make life easier what are the some things what you can you know trim off and what are the things that you can add into your daily routine so that your your life can be more productive you can be you know uh, feel more confident so what are those things you should work on so put a work remembers put put a york remember meeting with the senior executive woman who for 20 years of her marriage arranged dinner for her husband every night what she did uh for 20 years of marriage she arranged for the dinner for her husband every night but at the higher earner with the more demanding job the trips to the grocery store and daily meal preparation were adding too much stress to her life what it was doing going to the grocery store and cooking the food and all was adding a stress to her life so my response to her was who said puder york said so my response to her was maybe it's time to change the habit what what it was it was to time to change the habit so recall puder york executive worried her husband might be upset what was executive was worried that her husband might be upset but puder york insisted that if she wanted to reduce the stress this structural change could accomplish the start because if you are suffering through stress because of someone else you should try to do not to dodge activities what would take you into stress okay so instead of trying to do it all focus on activities specialize in and the value most so these are some of the things what you should try to do to maintain your work and life balance first of all change the structure of your life limit time wasting activities and people's exercise and meditate unplug and let go of perfectionism so start a small build from there what you can do is we all have been there cross diets that fizzle out new year's resolution we forget by february what we do we do forget resolutions forget by february it's the same with work life balance when we take on too much too quickly what happens when we take too much too quickly says brook many of this work colleague clients commit to drastic changes what they ask you they ask you to do drastic changes so cutting their hours from 80 hours a week to 40 hours bumping up their daily run from 0 to miles Zero miles to day to five miles a day. It is a recipe for failure, says Brooks. What is it? It is a recipe for failure, says Brooks. So when one client who was always absent from his family dinner, there was a client who was always you know absenting himself from family dinner at night, vowed to begin attending the meals nightly. What he did? He vowed to begin the attending the meals nightly. Nightly, Brooks urged him to start smaller. so he began with one evening a week so what he did he started to he started to do it for a you know uh, evening in a week so eventually he worked his way up two three dinners per week okay so this is this is something you can start with like that client do okay what what that client did is he just started with a one lunch one dinner with his family and later on it came to three or four dinners on you know in a week so there you should start you you to have your own priorities that what you should do okay say for example if you are not able to study uh, for 2 hours or 3 hours then you should try to start a study for 3 or 4 hours a day okay if you are not you know studying at all then you should start start to study at least half an hour 
maybe study maybe some other thing if if you know uh, you are not able to go to gym, gymnasium then you you should start to go at least for half an hour and try to you know maintain things regularly if you will mess up some things in mid then it it would cause a problem to you so keep all the things constant and keep on doing regularly so that's all for today uh, with this we will leave for the day thank you so much everyone do you have some of your queries that would be related to your placement that would be related to something else could you be suggesting any books that uh, are good like this i mean uh, sorry changing our attitude or uh, changing ourselves to the better version uh, sai sai prakash can you please come again yeah I, i was asking that would you be recommending some uh, some books to make ourselves better sai prakash actually uh, i can't recommend recommend you any book okay because to recommend something to you know uh, other is not good i think you should try to choose your your own uh, what would be good for you what would be would, what would not be maybe there is a book okay that is good for me and maybe that is not good for you that that you need to decide because as per your you know current status in in so for example in which class you are studying right now what course you have done in which kind of job you are into that all will you know uh, let you decide so you take a deep breath think about it and then explore the options uh, i'm very sorry to say that i'll not i will not recommend any any books to you all yeah sure okay so um, thank you so much for the day